four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so it's in control because I know he's never gonna get me. I'm always just right outside that range. One. Okay, that's nothing, there's no defense. Alone, hand, right? Skip. But really it's right here, right? Or stick hand. Or so it's that. You can do that in drill, just even that alone will keep you busy. Timing your hand, your stick, and whatnot. Power position is different, right? So here, right, and I'm just gonna stay back and you can do the control. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ready, control. Okay, so you <laughs> so, um, th that's balloon talk in, in, its, in its base skeletal framework of like, we're going to go into group two. Just show you a brief preview. Let's go right here. So, group two is lifting clearly, head moving, because he has to move his head, right? Move three, well, the body flexibility. So, I'm trying to stab him. He's moving, he's working his body, he's doing you know, all this kind of stuff, right? Move four speed and reflexes. Very brief, brief overview. Uh, but you've played, you can really get into it, but want to see all the grouping. So, NSI wise, what we're gonna do first is get the basic skeletal framework of 1, 12, 3, 6. So, 1, 12, 3, 6. Good. This clip right here. So, we're gonna practice that just so you guys have something to work with. I'm gonna show you everything from just that. Okay, so 1, this angle I'm aiming for his head. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an axe grip. I'm just gonna show this. He's gonna defend, counter, okay? Right here. Do not do this. Because that's not gonna, not gonna survive an actual, somebody punching you really hard. So use your whole arm. To bring that. 12. So one, we're gonna do this. Let's practice that real quick. Mid stick. One. 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 Use your hand too. Okay? So just do that. 10 times, really, and the, the power position is looks like a boxer right here, ready to go. Just show one. And I do it here because really it's this. Bang. But I just want to give him, here's a look. You know, it's right there. It's really that angle, right? He needs his head, I'm trying to hit him. Because if he wasn't there, it's right across the head. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to get power position. You're going to show the one just right outside. And then you're going to bend As they get better, we start literally bringing it really close. Okay, we bring it tighter. Tighter. Sometimes you can just touch them, just pop. Oh. Jim Bobby says, accept the pain. Mm -hmm. He really means that he'll just heal. Boom. Okay. So just, you just, just to inoculate you from, just so you're like, okay, that, that, that's what it feels like. Because if you're afraid of getting hit, then well, why are we doing this, right? I'm on a box, but you never get punched. Right, okay, here. <laughs> Cardio kickboxing, no. One, right? One, 12, I want you to pull it in. So I'm gonna slap that down. I'm gonna pull into a punch. He's gonna move and carry his head. I'm gonna guide him. Now, I don't have to guide him, but you, you guys guide each other. So I'm, I'm allowing this stick to come up. But I'm gonna go punch, move his head, pick it up, he checks, loads, and boom. That's, that's a 12, right? So it's one, 12. There you go. So again, so we can keep this off. One, and then I, I want to slap down, pull, and pull him in. Twelve, right there. Okay? One time, one. And watch me control. So I pull in. Maybe it's a this one, guys. Look at that. You see it? It's a this one. It's right there. So the beautiful thing is that the attachments you make. Twelve, as I'm punching, he moves his head. And I actually flick it up. I let it touch me. I'm not hitting myself, so I know how hard I'm hitting myself. Then he pulls back, checks, and four. See? So one, it's one, two, three, four. Look at his feet, sorry. Right? One, two, three, four. Right? <laughs> now, people are like, well, why are you training that way? You're this far away the whole time. Because at any time, one, it's like, 
See? At any time you can just extend. It should develop your reaction time to punch. Plus empty hand wise. One. Boom. Two. Boom. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Four. See? At any time you can go empty hand. That could be a reverse knife. Right? And we can break out the line here. One. Right? Two. Three. Blitz over doesn't have knife. Oh, well, what are you doing with your hand? You put something else in there. Well, Blitz over doesn't have knife. Okay, whatever. Right? So, one. Okay, so I'm not worried about that. So, I'm going to pull in 12. One, two, three, and it's a punch. I'm going to go in and punch your face. Like, again, at any time, you can extend. Okay, the three is right here, so I'm just slapping it over because it's also developing my reaction, too. See? So if I saw that 12 coming, so I push it over, he's at three. I can stop that three. You'll see some guys do this. One, three, and one over here. I, I, I bypass that. So the reason why is I don't, I'm sorry. Oops, right there. Because I don't want to get his knuckles. Yeah. So what I do is I kick it. There's some guys that still do it, and I'm like, come on. <laughs> one, four. I just, because I know he's not hitting me, and I'm just training him. Plus, I'm the feeder. I'm training him. I want to see that that's the right hit and it's a good target. Okay, three. The target is six. And I can hit. Okay? On the clip, that's when you get your other cool disarms from there from all kinds of stuff that you can do. Okay? So the first one, the reason I want to play with that is one, twelve, three, six. Go back one, twelve, six. You can play this all day. One, grab here, cool. Okay, so this is the first speed. It's a punio bait. This is, this is one of my seven, right? On my, one of my 24. I grab, I open it up, and I just bait it. Pop, which gives me this. Now this stick can be right at the elbow. It can be, I mean, anywhere, right? But what I did is I just did the typical modern ace trap. So he grabs my hand, he has to, that's what I want. I want it to block that. Boom, trap. So what I do now is I just lift the elbow up. Okay, okay so one, roll, just put that on, one, fake, okay? From here, I can, I can slam it in here, his elbow, which really pushes him, or I hit his wrist. If I want to hit, trap, I don't want to trap. There's that trap. I don't do this, I go at the elbow. The elbow, it's this arm, cut across, and hit, finish. We're going to want to do just one. Okay? So again, one, you can do the 12, 3, 6, open, bang. If he doesn't block, he gets hit, right? Ah. If he blocks, good, thank you, you're attached. Touch, hit, trap, from the podium. Lift, cut through, abanico, hit, hit. We're going to do power strikes. That's your 10 power strikes in the test. You're supposed to finish the 10 strikes. Got it? Let's try that. Let's go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two things. There's a disarm. I'm going to pull him in for the disarm. And he's going to hit. So push, pull. So a lot of what I do in my 24 techniques was to show here's the bullet swap clear. Mono Bobby loves his releases, his pivots. So I show that in. So what I do is I still do this. And I went here, pull, and I pushed. So when I pulled, I was already disarming. I'm pulling that wrist forward. So if you look at this, here's that snake, right? So I have a snake in. Instead of just going, do the swarm. I, I drew him in, I locked it up. So I went, disarm, and return. Good shot, the punch, okay? So it looks like this, boom, and here's a snake. See the pull, and then the push, push the punch. It's subtle, it's subtle. This is, this is how a sloppy person would do it. <laughs> so I wanted to show a wrist break, a disarm, and a freaking hit at the same time. One more time. So I go under, but I'm not gonna do this and go under now. I'm actually, for some reason I'm attached, I snake, there's a trap, and see, and then I just release. 
Okay, if you see it's attached to the wrong reason, that's the Z-lock. The center lock, or the Z-lock, right? So it's coming down. So he has to let go, which then connects. Let's try it. Let's go. Okay. And feed. Boom. As I step in, I track up. I go under. Here's that. If it doesn't let go, the arm shoulder's gone. Okay, I have this right here. All I have to do is just circle. I mean, add a foot trap in there, bump in, cross steps, he's really screwed. So, add a ladder, ladder, a little bit inside, bump to the footwork. Put her on, add my head to okay? If you've never seen a vicious Americana, you guys know Ariel, right? She tore her little double off. She never tapped. She never <laughs> tapped tap in. And I, I didn't post it out of respect because it's a huge competition, and it was flopping, and she was. Ah! Ah! <laughs> and me, and she's all, look over there, Mommy, I, I don't want to get people. <laughs> and then she comes back to me, and the brother was there going, and he had to fight her go next, and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> Crowd <laughs> pop a moment. Oh, oh, yeah, awesome, awesome arm break. I'm like, really? You just told a 16 year old girl just tore girl's arm. Shut up. <laughs> Some people are so, yeah, man. Tap. Here you go. Boom, right here. See that? Because if he, he's, for some reason, people hold on to weapons. They don't let go. That's built into the programming. I don't know why. So you just, you snake, you slide up, you use that. You don't lose tracking. I cover it a little bit with two fingers, and then I just go over the arm and come back up. Okay? Even if he lets go, I still have Okay? I can take that through, and then I can go, pop, pop, pop. Okay? I can wrap it up there, and then have that. <coughs> Okay. You can do like you see step behind here. Mine's really super screwed. Right? Okay? Got it? Yeah. Say the wall. Okay. The load. Again. One. Two. Hit. 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 Stuck underneath. Okay, one more time. A lot, but I just, when well, I was developing this, I was like, I'm to see this one. Boom, 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 boom. Just kept going. I said, ah, ah. You, you can't. When Dante does it, they're like, which stick is coming at you? Why are you hitting something on stick? They'll do that. Why are you, why, what's wrong with you? And you're like, ah, ah. That's what it is, basically. Okay, so again, one, I got my block, I hit one, okay, and then that would feel good. Then I collapse in, I slide, my stick with me, okay, here's that release. That's where I added that left hook flirt. I jam it, bam! So, boom, okay, you might block, right, bang. He thinks I'm releasing, I'm like recovering it, it's just a bounce back, bounce, bounce, bounce. And even when I do this, I can hit him, and then bring him again. Then, hold tight, hold tight. You'd be surprised when you can rock up there. It's just freaky. Then you just grab the back and elbow. You hit him. Get past his head, but really, I'm moving him and then fuck the back of his head. And just to show it though, you know, I'm mean, just, just so it looks. You just whiz past. So you train yourself never to, to slow down. You just pull hard like So then you just stay there. <clears throat> so then, uh, <laughs> but you're, you're not stopping your, your flow. So one, last one. Two. Elbow destruction. Trap. Smash. Release. That might just be an irritating thing. Hit him again. Hit him again. Draw that. Here. Okay. okay. I'll let you have it. 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 I'll once I, once I lock it, go, I'm trying to it. He's like, no, so there you go. Yeah, so that's what it's Then you go. Yeah, see, that's it. Okay, so here, I go, okay. Then let's go. Yeah, so that's how you train somebody to kind of go, pop, take like a jab, right? So the first time I'm like, so I'm like, oh. So my students know, right? Go give it to them. There you go. Then I go. 
Okay, so it's like double tap. So in the middle of whatever it is, boom, boom. So I'm going to hold it, back, boom. So I just double tap. You guys saw that when I did the glove too. When I was holding it, when I did the glove, I was just hitting them. Yeah. So it's just not real cool. So I just whack. Whoa, I'm going to go on. Okay, so we got that part. So now we're going to go on to another one. You guys good? Yeah. Okay. Let's analyze the snake, the vine, whatever you want to call it, right? From here, it comes in, right? A lot of times, when we do the lift off, you still. We show a, a thrust. I want that thrust. I want, because if he doesn't watch it, boom, right? And if you notice, I'm never doing this because he'll just parry it the other way. So if you notice, a lot of guys do this wrong. They actually hold it out here. Mm -hmm. And you guys got it in. When mm -hmm. I say you guys, in the experience guys, it should be right here. See? Because if I hit him, I hit him. If I don't, he pushes it over. I say thank you for that. Now I have my this one. Okay? And I can go into my Tikea Club Trafkaras or Siba. It's really just static. You think about it, right? So here again. So slap down. Use this stick to go down too. Right there. Okay. As I bite through, I can go right into more my forearm, or I can go into more stick. If I just stick, I don't try to pretend I'm so Mr. Forearm Strength Strong. I can just rotate. I grab my stick and I push. So then I can go, wow, I can hit him back. Or I can go into reverse, you know, reverse grip, sushi grip. So that's the first part. So I want you to analyze this for the next one, right? So try that. And then I want you to slide through. You can use your forearm strong, or you can use your stick. You can pinch too. Right? All that stuff. Okay, so find through. So I can right here. I did this, I hand switch on. Okay? So I just I flick this. That's not it. It's this. <laughs> I flip this arm. Yeah, because they're gonna go like this, right? So one, I slap down. I don't feed it. I actually go a little shorter, so it's right there, ready for me, and I go boom. Okay. Then I just turn this one. So I did, you know, whatever. So that's where it's like, wait, but I did it fast, and he's like, do that again. It's like, oh, <laughs> so it was one. Boom, and right there. Okay. I can also strip it if I wanted to, but it's easier to go against. It's much easier to just you know. Right? Yeah. Yeah. right? So one more time. Slowly. Here. Slap down. This one here, I'm binding, right? <coughs> this one here, I'm not. So here, switch, hit. Careful to hit, guys. Here, grab, strip. It'll come off. Trust me. Okay, try. Clear, lift, clear, 
So before he does that, he pushes that off to the side. Because if he doesn't, if he just lets go, I'm going to punch him. So he has to kind of just throw it off there. So what if he does that? And right when he goes in, I just crash in. So it's it's really a timing. Bam! So I go in with a Muay Thai elbow, clamp on, knee, and I go Kung Ta. So I go Puno, bam. And then I kind of release. It's a simple thing. Um, the reason why I, didn't, I, I was like, I should have showed it. So I don't have to worry about group one. That's, that's tomorrow. We're going to go over grouping systems. We're going to go over the bullet talk curriculum, right? Group one again. But just to show you, if anytime somebody has a stick grab, what's funny is if I grab a stick, there's a way, a little way to clean it through there, and there's a dot to it that's deeper there, right? Mm -hmm. So the first time I started doing group talk, and I touched hands with Dr. Will play, and he, uh, he grabbed my stick, yeah, I was just like that. Usually it'd be clear like this, right? If you go back to Sinawali, right? So he grabbed my stick, you know, and I went like this. And right when I lifted up, and we did this thing called a clip. So we clip. So do you, do you guys clip? You're clip. So this is the essential part of the talk. So lift up and clip. Oh, so watch. Okay, lift. Feel that? Yeah. Lift. lift. Not, not my hand. On my wrist a little bit. Oh, my wrist a little bit. Right there. Mm -hmm. See? So we clip. The reason why we clip is because I can pull you in. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, you should, you, should, you should be clipped right there. Mm -hmm. So, then here, okay? Can you look? All right? Yeah. That's it. So, I can feel it. Yeah, see? So, he knows when, when, he knows when we're playing, you're like, what is that feeling? Yeah. Um, at, the, at the higher levels when we play, um, I started to notice that feeling. Like, the, the level seven guys and the grandmaster, grand I'm like, what's that? Because this is, we don't slap away. So, uh, we don't do this. I grab it. So, we clip. It's just a little bit of a clip. It's subtle. Now, when we're feeding, we let you have it for drilling, right? So, right? <laughs> so, that? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that should be happening. Don't post that, but you should be learning with <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not talking. Wherever you learn from, you better make sure you get that for your, your game. Because it's so subtle that it's gonna, it can teach you to grab. It's just so subtle, but it's fast. Okay? And if you touch hands with me, you'll feel it. I do that all the time. So the doctor felt it. And he goes, ah, you want to talk, huh? It's like, shit. <laughs> he knows. He goes, because you know, again, Professor Remy did the little talk. It's so subtle, and he'll know because once you feel somebody, you know, grab and you feel that they're attaching to you. I'm gonna attach to you. Okay, so it's it's a very it's a very subtle. The Philippines, the PTA guys, when they handshake, we do that. Okay, so actually, if you're the military, you just kind of just do that. Okay, so um, check check board things like that. So group one is off the lifting plane. Boom, boom. This is where I did the throw. Oh, pop, boom. And then I, I did here, I hit, and then I went into my, as you saw that move where I threw them, and I, I did an arm off of that. So I'm gonna bypass nine and 10. It's kind of cool, but you know, the main thing is, it's just it's just catching them and coming in and crashing with the vertical elbow. That's all it is, okay? So 11, so one of my this one's 11. It's off this side, okay? Okay, so I call it the clip, the clip. So right here, off the clip. So what I want you to do is I want you to go under and turn it over. Okay? That's just not number 11, this is something new. So I'll flip, I want you to turn over, I want you to put your low, and come back up and you'll high. And you block your phone. Boom. Okay. Either one, I don't care which way you block. Okay? So clip it from this side, turn it over, go low, okay? Go high. And that's all I want from there. And now what you do is a little bit of JKD. I'm gonna take this left hand, I'm gonna block, you should throw that at you. Same time. So essentially, it's, it's 12. It's that. It's that. It's the same thing. Okay? It's like the team. Same thing, right? So I'll kind of play with those concepts. Okay? Right here. So turn over and stick. Say, attach, blunder, puño, 
Feed that. Okay, so open the heel. Once you touch, you move very careful on that, do not hit. Okay? You can add more for every you can go here, 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 here. Okay? So you can put your twice, or you can do it twice. Bang, bang, hit, hit, hit. Whatever you need to do there. For now, all I want is this. Turn over. One, two, three. Okay? And then this is what I did. Four. Pop, 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 pop. That's from the Copa. So read about now in the Copa bit more. New something concepts. <laughs> so the book of the talk. So I saw him in seminar. Ah, oh, you can do this for oh, me. Got it. So I steal from people all the time. So one thing, and I, I, and I told some of the guys this. One thing I've done in the past, probably helped me most. Is my mom put me in a dance uh, group when I was little, cultural dancing. So all that did was have the other boys cheesy, call me names. So I fight them. <laughs> but I was developed some footwork. You would say what you call me? Ba -ba -ba. So, sequencing pattern, it's all choreography. That's why you can't throw away katas. Because that's it's essentially memorizing sequence patterns and it's ah oh, katas don't work well. Yeah, but you're training your brain to learn real high, okay? Clear the line or that says remove the barrier. Boom, we think. Okay? And then you can go inside, outside, or whatever. You can go outside, come here. Right. Right Can we go one more time from the other side, Bill? Okay, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Low, high, remove. Okay. Nice. Last time, slowly. Low, high. As I'm doing this, a lot of people do this and hit their elbow. So you gotta clear that. So the drill, the shadow, that would be. That's why you want to grab your tricep to get that elbow out of the way so you can. What is that? Just a six. Six, seven. So you thrust, thrust. Okay. Low, high. Got it? Got it. Right. Boom. But if I do that, then I just go this way. I just, go, I just change direction. I don't have to go cool, lean to my cool. I feel that, right? So when he pushes in, I hit him. Okay, I can break him across the bodies. But it's like I go, boom, body turn. Okay, and there's nothing from there. So if you can change so that's number 27. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The doctor said, I did not know I knew that. Yeah, seriously, I just, because the way he gave me his energy. So you guys just got to feel Seriously? He's like, yeah, but I wanted to do that first, just so you know, 
just because they're black belt, if, if they can't connect the system, they're, they're so dogmatic, and you know, they're like, hey, come here, slap the hand, don't you ever learn that system. And the problem with martial arts today is exactly that. Dr. 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 Laws is doing when I say this to the NSI guys, is, is he, he, he frees our brain, you know? And our brain is so locked into patterns and we're neurologically building connections off of, you know, of classical strokes, you know, or, you know, Katie Trisha Kali, don't post that. You know, so, you know, things like that. And, and, and I've had parents tell me, no, you know, you, you, have to, you have to follow my system. I'm like, GG, I already told you I'm not about to kill you, I'm not going to die out there. So don't let go of your sinat, don't let go of your kachu kamo, don't let go of your kempo kempo, karate, whatever it is, don't let it go because it's going to come back in the NSI. But if you just start with the NSI, you're like, I don't know, man, it's just a foot trap. I'm like, oh, do you do sinat? I mean, whatever, it's just a foot trap. So the whole thing about the NSI is, if you're thinking like a black belt, it's like getting college material and then you're going back and learning high school stuff. But the guys who went to elementary, middle, high school, somewhere that didn't, you know, Ready not for an NSI real quick, kind of didn't do it. Right? So, yeah, that answers your questions. It, it allows, um, you know, being a tool on a PTK, being a guru in the talk, to being an NSI instructor, uh, I get the best of everything. Because anytime I come up with something, here's a good example 20 foot Galinas, right? Sled dog. Uh, OG, dog brother, PTK, highest rank tool on the PTK. He was doing a move, right? And I'm like, Ba, 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 ba. It was the Philippines, and then somebody, you know who it was, he did it, he, he changed direction, he changed energy, and I responded, ba, ba, ba. and I was like, oh shit, and I saw two Philip looking. And I always feel bad when I do something outside of the Utah Center, because I, I think it's disrespectful, as you're trying to show off. So I went, sorry, tonight, they kind of did something else. He's like, did you survive? And like, yeah, because did you do the move and kill him? Uh, did you take care of the attack? So, well, yeah, obviously, he's going to Why you follow it? Yeah, I got that, right? So Tulum Philip, he has the right mindset. What's going to come out of you, you know, whatever hard things you do is going to come out in expression because of the, the neurological program, the drilling, the muscle memory. But if all you are is just, oh, 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 and that's all that's ever going to happen. So NSI allows that to happen. Um, and if you embrace that, then you, you have to kind of look at it from a conceptual uh, and principles point of view. The principle is, it's a one attack, how do I get there? You know, a Kadena reality. But it, 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 in bullet terms, that punch one too, right? So do a uh, shot fight from a three. Stay with karate all the way, and then you find on the side, go, shit, what have I been learning the whole time? And then you get, and then you hear it all the time. That's what I tell you, stories of guys getting frustrated, like, fuck, what was I doing then? No, 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 that's just like, don't throw it away. It's there. And they'll do it all the time, though. What about the high rise block? It's there. And like, oh, we just did it on the snake. What is that? It's, it's a block into a punch, right? Oh. They'll do that, and you're just like, ah, oh, you feel like a jerk, like, I should have just kept going. So that's the long answer to it. Um, and having multi-discipline art instructors who have the inside mindset is, is the best of both worlds. Some guys are just inside. Like Sean had to do what I did. I said, dude, you've got to be patient. Because he was frustrated. You can ask him. He was just, after every inside seminar, he was like, dude, I got a headache. 
But there's also things like Isaiah and Flex. It's just you know, the last days. You get the deep. You know? So, does that make sense? So, you guys just, just keep in, in research stuff, man. Just research and look at it. And just start looking for openings. You know, like, oh, I could, what if I do this? What if I do that? And some might look really dumb and stupid, and you're like, yeah, but it's worth, worth investigating. Right? So, try it out. And to answer your question, how can you? How much is scrapping committed or whatever? That's still his question, but yeah. Oh, I put I, I, I my eyes on the ground. So on the, on the ground, half the time my eyes are closed. Especially if you're if we're in half guard or uh, if, if I'm on top and I'm heading side control. I'm, I, I look a little bit, but no, I'm feeling every movement. So if I see an opening, I don't I don't seek the grappling. I go, I could have done that. I take mental levels, mental levels, mental levels. Unless I purposely want to do it, like in few into my fight in Philippines, I told myself to one. Harold, <laughs> so I'm gonna take the fucker down. Boom! Oh, okay. Stand back off, and he goes right there. Okay, and I just went underneath the two. Right here, snake, a choke. So the snake had choked right to the choke. Um, and I, see this part where the gear that I took off much, it was actually this into that, but I, I felt just something was weird about doing this and trying to try to just pull it out. I didn't like it. So I, I went. Boom, right, right away to the snake. I just, I didn't care about going underneath I went here, and I just went for the choke, and boom. And that's what I performed in front of Jim Bobby, because I choked. So, that was changed from the day before. I'm like, nah, that one looks stupid. It doesn't feel right. It's, if, unless you fight, if you guys don't fight, I mean, I'm not saying you should, but I spar my guys. I get there, and we go in, pop, pop, pop. I grapple them, and I mean, so, some stuff just doesn't feel right, because I know, from being hit, from being attacked. But if you're just gonna keep doing that or air shadowing, I suggest putting on some mask and not dog brother it. But that's why I created the Tifo and Tifo. We want to test ourselves in the spirit of like brother, like, hey, let's go. And we just say, no, no takedowns, no punches, no kicks. In your heart, you're welcome, and we respect it. So it's like, you know, from attention, so you can get everyone's attention from my heart, so you can, you know, and then you're welcome. Or welcome, the same welcome, and then we'll respect. So, Giovanni, before we start, uh, and then we'll get a line like that. Um, so the first things first, <coughs> uh, blocking. And one of the main key things in blocking is the side to side blocking. So, we're going to walk this forward. This place is very simple. This is the front of the This is the front of the I don't know why I want to do that one. Okay, so. Uh, here you go. So, when you hold the wing block, it's actually elbows are spinning. You don't want to relax, keep it nice and tight, and it's a vertical stick, okay? Not a lot of wiggle, maybe two, maybe three fingers. So you'll never see a lot of this, you'll never see wings like guys doing like a full fist when you it's more like that. Okay, so in that position. So elbows in. The stance, it's if I was like to start my walk and I step, that's it. It's just right here. Okay? So when you say when I say one, and I count to ten, I'm going to do each rep from the block. So one will be here. So here, when you pivot. So, okay, there you go. So here, remember, remember your hands always behind your stick a little bit. Right? It's never in front. Okay, two, turn. Again, stick, and Right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Make sure when you switch, you're not doing that. You're doing heel, ball foot, heel, second down. Pivot. It's a change. There you go. Okay. So can you see this? Good. Great. Side to side, we start this side. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pivot. Everything's 45 degrees. Sometimes we do it straight, but 45. Two, we take this final step forward. Okay? We stay for two, and we go for three. The elbow. So head, head, elbow. Okay? And as you guys are hitting, I also want you guys to don't extend. I want you to take a punch. And it's weird because we have a stick in our hand, but everything is. So if I'm here, I just, I just want to hit you. One, two, three. Punch because at any time I can extend. So that's one, that's two, that's three. 
So when you hit, I want you to just punch. Stop. Don't go. Don't cast. Okay? Because if you're going to cast, you might as well finish through. So it's a, a broken strike, basically. Okay? One. Okay? There you go. Two. Stay. Go three. Elbow. Back four. Chamber. Hit the elbow. Okay? And maybe for basic position in control, we we'll always we'll stop at the target. Full power we follow through. So this is still the point. Five. Thrust. Okay. Six. Chest thrust. Make sure you pivot right here. Pivot. Right foot pivot. There we go. Okay. Seven. Thrust the chest. Eight. Step back. Low chamber. Hit the knee. Okay. Again, watch your fingers when I cast it. Just punch. Nine. Hit the other knee. It's like when you slip a, you slip a punch, it's the same thing. Okay? Yeah, there you go. Ten, pump the eye. There you go. Hit it. Knee foot, knee foot. Right foot. Right foot. Boom, there you go. When you guys uppercut, feel it, uppercut. So ten, okay? Eleven, pump the other eye. And 12, chamber, and punch. Okay. It's like a two. So a lot of it, the bottom of the head should be needed to do a lot of punch. Yes. One, to the head. Two, to the head. Three, to the elbow. Back four, to the other elbow, or ribs. Five, thrust to the belly. Step back six, thrust to the chest. A little bit lower, then. There you go. Good, good, good. Clean that hand up. There you go. Six, pivot. Seven, the chest. Okay. okay. Eight, step back, hit the knee. Nine, hit the other knee. Clean the right foot. Heel up. Good. Ten, a little bit taller than six, poke the eye. Okay. Eleven, poke the other eye. Chamber, and twelve. That's it. Okay, cool. That's it. Awesome. Step forward two. Stay three. Back four. One more time. One. Forward two. Stay three. Back four. One. Back here, step forward, you go thrust, okay? Then you're gonna go up the back, chamber, and hit the knee. Swing up, okay? So it goes, we just finished four. Five is thrust, up the back, and then chamber, hit the back, hit the knee. Okay? So one more time. We just finished four. Five, thrust. Uppercut, chamber, hit the knee. Okay. So it's going to move. Yeah, right there. Good. Yeah. So here we go. Okay. So let's do one through five. Are you ready? So one, four, two, stay three, back four, two times, four, five, thrust, uppercut, knee. Okay, again. One, hit the head. Two, hit the head. Three, hit the ribs. Four, two times hit the ribs. Bang, bang. So remember, pivot left, pivot right. All right, five, thrust, uppercut, hit the knee. Last one. Ready? Down. Down. Up. 
up, seven, 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 six, seven, eight, punch one, two, come back. Okay, one more, ready? Down, down, up, up, center, 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 six, seven, eight, punch one, two. So retraction hit follow through hit essentially? Yeah, pretty much. Just don't make it a full right knee. Okay. That's all I ask. Hit and hit again. Okay, so let's go do your double downs. Ready? Double hit. Double down. Double up. Double up. Center. Double eight. Huge. So extend, extend, extend. That's it. So that's the first part. So 
and then jump wall, descent, counter. Three, descent, counter. Everything's always at 45 degrees. Okay. Four, the elbow counter here, descent, counter. Five, descent, counter. Six, descent, counter. Seven, descent, counter. Eight, descent, counter. Nine, descent, three, just low. Defend counter. Ten, defend and counter. Eleven, defend and counter. Twelve, parry. Good. Check and finish. Okay. So it's basically okay, ready? Front position. Okay. One. Defend counter. Two, step back. Defend counter. Three. Defend counter. Four, defend counter. Five, defend counter. Six, defend, defend counter. Seven, defend counter. Eight, defend counter. Nine, defend counter. Ten, defend counter. Eleven, defend counter. Twelve. Okay, stay there for the back side. Ready? Yep. Power position. One, defend, counter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's how it High, low, low, center, center, chamber, chamber sides, high, high, low, low, center, center, chamber, high, high, low, low, center, center, chamber, Change, change, change. When you change, we don't, we don't move around. It's actually breaking the whole wall. So remember, it's a clearing line. Okay, so power position, basic blocks, high, high, watch your hand. Yeah, yeah, okay, ready? High, still, still swing through high, low, low. Center, center, chamber, high, high, low, low, center, center, chamber, chamber, switch, high, high, low, low, center, center, chamber, one more time, high, high, low, good thing somebody's in charge. Low, center, Angle high, block. Like move. Okay. Sometimes you see some guys support it. Just go here, here. So high, okay. high, good angle, low. Good. Just do. So it's a drumstick, right? Low, low, good angle, yep. Center, good. Center, chamber, high, okay. there you go, this is not, see, a little too, a little too close for comfort, there you go, high, good, low, low, center, center, and during the testing, some of us will walk up, where are you guys going to piss me off, man, just get a shot, <laughs> you chase your thing, I, I will shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you look like the I mean, honestly, if you were to box somebody, would you do this? No. Would you do this? No. It's right here. You can fight, you know? And then some boxes, yeah, are low. Their stance is low. For the most part, it's right here. It has to be comfortable 
forward. If I was going to fight you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fight you like this. <clears throat> well, this doesn't make sense. I need to be angry, right? I don't know, see somebody street and they do this, I'm like, probably laugh. What the fuck are you doing? You know? So I'm here. I'd be like, okay. I was like, hey man, I don't want any trouble. I'm in the lunch box stance. I'm in the boxing stance. I'm in the movie test stance. It's the same. It's a comfortable footwork. Okay? So here. So in control okay, means I'm just going to stop, show him the look. It's going to be a fed counter. Okay, so I go one. The reason why I do back grip, because reality, this is just a little too much. Yeah. So I just want him to defend the counter fast. So that, the reason why I put this for guys speak like that is just to show. You know, or it could be a thrust. I've seen, you know, I've seen the brain do that. Just, just do that. Just, just give him a look. Okay, just the jab, right? So one, defend. Okay, counter. That's all. Right there. Now with your hand, you can defend. And then that's when your hand tracks onto the stick. And counter, and I just want you to put your fingers on top of the hand and pull the stick down just a little bit. So one, defend, and counter. Okay. 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 Just monitor. Okay. Okay. You could grab it, but I would say, can you let go so you can do two? It's just that, again, it's all just built. Boom, that's all. So, basic position, okay. When you defend, it's just going over the wall. So don't try to smack it. If you're not smacking it, you're defending. You're just creating it from a, a wall. Bend, turn, counter. Okay? So step back. Two, defend. Stop moving. Yeah, both hands and stick. And slap down. Counter. There you go. That's two. Three. I'm going to help him. Three, defend, counter. That's all. Okay? Four. Don't do it from the replacement step. Just head to the step. There. Four, defend, counter. Don't okay. like it. Just create a wall. Defend, counter. Oh, yeah. There you go. Five, let's do it to four. As far as his thumb in, it's more of a paradox to side. There's a lot of flexibility in your body. It's kind of getting out of the way of four. You do that all the time. You just see the life spark. Boom. There's just that, right? So one, so basic position. One, defend, counter. Don't try to touch it, yeah, because it's really this. Right? So just boom! And it's it's a supported block. But your hands just right here and then you count. Okay? One, count. Don't, exist, don't cast. Just punch, yeah. That way I don't nerve get hit. Okay? So that's why mental guys can drill fast. We create reaction time, but we're not ready to go, shit. Like, dude, don't understand. So don't really cast, don't flick, just punch back. Because you're safe no matter what. And it's good. And even then, We've also our reaction times. So the speed too, defend counter. See, I can see it. Because that's one of our defense is just boom, touch, boom, stick, and stick. So, this position, one, defend counter. Go slow, don't overextend. You're, you're like, ah, it's just defend counter, okay? You don't have to try to reach me because the closer you get into your waiting, doesn't be shit, just defend counter. Thank you. There you go. Sorry, you're gonna leave me. Yeah. When 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 I when I do it, it's just you and it's over. That's all. Anytime I feel a shift in your overcommitment as a fighter, I'm gonna take advantage of your shift in the weight. I love guys who overcommit. Go. Take your leg out, right? So you gotta be balanced. It's all balance. Everything's balanced, right? Okay. Defend counter. Better. Okay, stay back. Two. Defend counter. Good. Three. Defend counter. And four. Good. So one, you hold stick better than jump. Defend counter. Push over. Two. Open the head. So three. Grip shot. And we'll do a little four. Have the elbow. Defend counter. And these are just looks, guys. It's a look. Here's a look, here's a look, here's a look. I'm not working on my power strike, guys, later. This is for him. This is for my partner. I'm training him, okay? I'm not getting any benefit from doing this. I'm working with you. That's why it's a partner deal, right? Um, it's hard to do a blind talk uh, after level one. 
You need, you need somebody. After that level three, you definitely need somebody. Definitely for three on. Two, you still can kind of shadow it, but now you're having somebody feed you the stick. You know, defend counter attack. Yeah, right? So do that. Defend counter one through four. Ready, ready for this hard killer disarm? Okay, grab the stick, take your fist. That's one. <laughs> so defend. Boom, that's it. One. Grab, a little bit of a twist. Just, just punch through. Try it. Just do it like three times and then we'll just move on. Don't mind me real quick. Just do it like the start number two. This is all left side. So ready? It's really hard, guys. Elbow. <laughs> it's all left. I can do it two, three times. It's that elbow. Okay, so here, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go on top. That's all. So watch. Good. Go on top. And ready? It's not, it's not that hard. Boom, come down. So I want to bring it down, and I take my palm up, and I just lift. So that's it, okay? Try it out. Outside the stick, lay it on top. See, our sticks are parallel, and it's, it's, it's a, it's a, a up and down motion, okay? Lock, right. It's almost like I want to hug him, I want to hug him to my chest, and tap a little away. Because if you just do this, okay? Don't muscle it, put your body to work. Just turn it over real. Yeah. yeah, feels different, huh? Because I didn't know I'm going to get it together. Yeah, exactly. Okay, try that. Yeah. Bang, 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 it's a hit you just for that. Sorry, so, I'm sorry, thrust. So this is right here. So, thrust again. So this is where the hand comes in. Grab. Boom. Okay? Be careful to lean because I, I got a lot of body make sure I didn't lean too much. So he says just bang. It's just almost like a twist and pull. I did that as half of mine, man. I, I like crashing in. I'm just like, ah. But then I do a pop. And then just slap my head. And I push my like, back. So thrust here and bang. Just that. Just it's a pull. It, you're not doing this with your form, you're really pulling with them. But you can apply it. So you know I don't want to hurt it in my heart, so it's bad. Okay? So thrust, which is five, right? Grab and bang. Okay? Try that. Take the other extra fingers. So thrust, thrust. He has a strong grip. Okay? Boom. Grab the wrist. So he's just transitioned from five. So here's five, he's like, fuck you. Hold on, just like, boom, just strip it. So again, one, you hear that stop? You won't let me have it. So I reach back, grab the wrist, and what I'm doing is just pull, I'm, I'm basically just providing the stop, and I'm just pressing through. Okay. Scissor that, bam. See that, so I do it right here, and I reach in, and Sevens are eleven. Sevens are eleven. Now, it was taught to me. I see guys doing this. I don't like this. There, this. You know, I don't like this. Throw. Throw it to my neck. So I kept the stick there. So that's why I was pressed. Pressed, and I just kept the stick there, so it doesn't matter how fast. Nice. Because you know why? He was bothering me. So of course it sat here nicely. Of course it's perfect. Always perfect, right? So again, experiment with the mind plate, it's never came. Boom. What the fuck? Seven. I don't know if you got this for seven. Thrust. Okay. We'll come around. And just eight. It's just an inside block. One. Okay, keep things tight. So again, we talk about these entries, windows here, 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 and here. So this is that. Here, there's other disarm. Here, it's another disarm. So disarms happen in those four windows, right? So we're using this window. Suck it in. I call it 
draw it in, okay, and then just turn and push it out. Okay, eight, okay, bind it in, and we got versus, I'm a strong person, because I'm just gonna go to you. Use your body, it's like number four too. I'm strong. Or, I don't wanna take that chance. I'm gonna rotate my whole body. Don't ever, don't ever need the chance to. Your grip is stronger than my grip. Do this. Your grip can't handle my torso. Right? It's when I teach a kimura. I don't teach it muscle. Them. I teach. I go when you fall, take your torso. Take it. Take the whole body. Use your body to. They have to hold up your whole body. So my kimuras are. There's a higher percentage finish rate. So me, I'm looking for the higher percentage finish. <coughs> Always try to look for that. You know. And if it doesn't work. But it's part of the system, the art. I'll do it because I'm learning it. Like I said, one, two, I don't like three. I just, that's just me. I, I, I the bounce out as well. I'm short, man. Just three, you know, go like this. I am a short guy. I do not like this. I do not like scooping. So, but four, I like. Five, I like. One, I like. Two, I like. But I teach three. I have to, it's part of our system. Again, it's just one of those things. What are you a 90 percenter? Well, I'll still show you the 10 percent, but I'm a 90 percenter. Okay, so eight, nine. Okay, actually, I'm trying to think what nine is. <laughs> Hold on, I'm thinking about it. This is what I do I like go, I hit. Okay, straight. Some people tell you, other systems tell you to catch it from behind. We should block the block first, then switch it. Okay? The switch is you do get hit. Back hit. Motorcycle front, or I say circular motion, palm up, and just kind of this, this motion. Okay? So block, hit, boom. Okay? That's 10. Okay. <laughs> One. Ready. We're getting like soundtrack. Grab and then I want you to mid stick. I want you to hold it. It's a push up. You guys. Yeah. And, and you're only aiming that way. So you're just rolling. Yeah? That's fine. Ten is, ten is this. So we got ten here, right? Yeah, we got ten. So eleven. Inside block. Okay. Just pop up. It's really this. Okay. So that's 11. Okay. So we got 11 right here. Oh, right here. <laughs> you really throw it to the face. But don't you rub those in Hollywood? Because it's he goes he does this shit. Oh shit. You know, like he'll throw it up in the air, so the block. Oh, pop! Bang! So you just slap out of the hand and you literally from there you just grab the stick and bang! We'll hit you with your own stick. So to prevent anybody from getting hurt, we just drop it. Because we used to throw it behind it. Put some block. Pull it and you just kind of throw it up there. But after you block, then you grab it, you just drop it. And you just literally just smack it. It's almost like the number one, but just drop. Because then you hit. Okay? That's it. Cool. Because <laughs> if they hold on, they just go down with it. Yeah, somebody, Jay and Bobby, don't let them know this. Oh. This is two. Um, big difference? Yeah. If he's holding on tight, okay, one, I might get him a little bit. Watch when I do two, I throttle both. I added something else to it. Again, I always experiment and just something. This is the way it was taught to me. Insert. Okay, and then this one. From here, slide, okay, to insert. The insert part I was talking about before is so instead of here, here, inside grip, so I made a mistake by grabbing inside right here, I'm gonna grab on the outside. I want to take a step away from him because the insertion would be a lot better. It would be a lot better with uh, me in penetrating a little bit more because if I'm here, let me see, you notice the stick is sliding out. So when I try to do this arm, it actually might slip out. So, when, I'm, when I move him and I block, my hands are behind, I grab right away, I take a small step, plus I'm out of that 
left hand reach, I twist and disarm. Okay, that's 14. And to clarify, you're disarming with his own stick, yeah? Yeah, so what happens is if you look at my stick, so his is the stripes, I end up having his stick. So, cool. That's 14. 15. Now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my, the back of my hand and move it here. Almost like I'm, I'm just tapping in. Like, you know, when you move hands around, you do this just sometimes, you just pull, pull, pull. So from here, we go here, at the same time, hit, okay, here, hit. It's almost the same as I hit this way, the this one. And once I go here, I grab my own stick and I just vice. Vice grip, which puts me in an American position too. Right. Last one is 16. So I grab, and I step in. So right here, I just go right here. If I grab it inside, I can just slide it through, or I just, again, do the same thing. I block, and I just go like this. So he may carry it off the side, but I got a stick. So if anybody carries it off the side, I'm still losing some shots. So it's 14, 15, 16. 13 was a kiss. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So a lot of time we'll play, right? So we'll go 1, 12, 3, 6, that's 1, and then we'll just grab right there, okay? If you're already about to pull it, I just meet it, but my hand's already seeking. So it's right here, versus block, switch hands. You could do that, and come here. A lot of times it's already here, right? Here, we're going to go straight. That's 1, okay? 2. Is this. Here's where you saw that. Right? So, two, it's fine. Okay, one, or stick. Okay? So, you guys want to play one and two? Sure. This side was parallel. Mm -hmm. you just up. Same thing. I'm going to stick up my own fingers. Mm -hmm. right and right here. A lot of times there's a full push. So it's just a lot of misdirection because you have your hand. So a lot of guys like tug and pull. There you are. Up and down, just this way. It's so uh, I'm not really pushing down as much as I'm pulling up. I'm not going. Ugh. So I'm just I'm not, almost like creating a barrier. I'm blocking the arm. Oh. It looks like I'm pushing down, but it's really it's really more of a lift. So that's three, four. The only difference is here. So now I turn the stick this way, and I'm going and I look behind me. I just, boom. I push it. This was up down. This is more hunting kind of fashion. Up down. That way. So, so everything's the same except for the direction you turn the wrist. Exactly. Okay. Turn the wrist. Okay, try that. Yeah. So they're related. You grab here the wrist. I don't like it. And I'll start this way. Let me tell you why. As I'm disarming him, I'm pinching myself. Hold it tight. See? Right, right there. I, I'm pinching myself. So what I do is that here, I grab the top of the hand. Now, I actually cut the top and I just push out the form. Ready for six? You're really hard, man. Okay, grab, shoulder. <laughs> I swear to get I'm like, alright. Let's see number seven, forehead, no. So it's really just a block, so it's a six block. Then you go here, then you form. Okay, or here, then you grab here and just shoulder. shoulder. Gotcha. Yeah. Just keep this here in the shoulder. Take so far, shoulder. And just grab the top. That's five and six? Wrist, but I can pinch and full play. Oh, oh, oh. Boom. Oh, shit. It's irritating. It's just more irritating. Right here, he's coming back. In the top. Okay, so watch. Bang down. Do that. Watch. Yeah. It's the same thing. 
Once I'm here, it's just a turn. It's just it's four. You just add four in. So and stop down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's punching back. He's catching. Okay. And then top. And. So slap down, and it's coming up over the stick. Let's walk a little bit. Okay? Is that Because um, the cool thing, I, love, I like this a lot. Because it doesn't matter. He punches, I'll deal with it anyway. Right? So, punch or slap, and watch this. I'm just going to line. It's that simple. It's just a button. So you have to bind with two. And if you think eight, and this side, it's the same thing. That's eight on this side. I always remember eight, like, just when I, if I was ever forgetting. Ah, oh, line, line, snake it, snake it. So I never forgot eight. That's a cool thing. Boom, boom. So you can stick, chamber, and slap. So block, then transition to a slap. Okay? The cool thing is you can still come in, boom, and this is where I gave away a lot of my other stuff too. Because I was already attached. Keep you busy and you disarm you. Okay, that's it. Try it out. One. Okay, now from here, I slap down, load, hand switch, and get the stick, but we're really in the hand. Okay, we're also being able to do this. Compensate the wrist position and just whack the weapon out of his hand. And I've seen it done both ways. I've done it both ways. See, I have to stop it. Unless I'm trying to catch it. I don't, I don't want to try to catch it. This is a good insurance. This is it's a really good insurance. That's why you got to lock first. He's coming back. No, that slide. And change. So just take the stick. It's implied, it could be. Do that. Do that. See? Bang. I'm keep my hand here, I'm keep my own hand. And it's a slap, right? Or a slap load. Switch here. Right there. Or turn it and go whack. Okay? Right there. So he puts his hand up. And once I feel that, I retract. Okay. Pull. Okay. Right here. Pull. Palm up. And you're done. If I wanted to, pull back in. Okay. You gotta set my sides for that too. Semi advance, we pull you back in, hit you. You actually go here, here, push, follow. Because when you pull him in, then he rotates the shoulder here. Because I pulled him in, I will pull that arm there. So that's it here. Right here. Once I pull him in hard, that shoulder's there. And we just open it back up. It should be a shot too. It should be an elbow. Okay, just going, you ever just jerk something around? It's, yeah, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> See Again. Block. Now watch. You pull in. Right here. See? See how it's attached to me now? So the same block. Same pull. The only difference is instead of my punio, my elbow catches it. Hold it. So my elbow catches it. I still have the punio. I like the punio because I want to scrape the shit out of your hand. And it's just another reassurance here. Let's see how to move. But if I don't, if I assume, pull your stick out. Ah, <laughs> so I don't want to assume. So I go here, and I go here, and I do the same thing. It's the same thing. Just forward. Don't do this. Don't do this guy. Don't. 
Don't, don't work around the stick. Punch his face, hold it on the I see too many guys doing that. They're like, you know, it's like, no, hit the guy. The point is to hit the guy. That's that's a bonus. Okay, so here, bang, see? See that pull? And then, I'm like, ah, he blocked it. Or maybe I hit him, hit the stick after that. Back! Boom! Back. Hit him again. Right? It's a, it's a win win. So, second favorite. <laughs> This guy, so one guy, one guy does like a, he catches, he catches it with like a finger. Like he, he tracks with a finger, he knows where your stick's at. And I'm like, ah, I don't know about that. But he did it in full speed, I was like, damn. And that's just his thing, you know? I, I forget the position, but anyway. So 12, okay, from here, I'm gonna do the same thing, like a seven, I'm not gonna roll on I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna do it. That could be a signaling, you're training your body, you're training something to make the person's hand, you just slap down, boom, and then you, you do is you slide up, clip it with your thumb, okay, and then from here, just, it's just this grip, it's amazing, <laughs> I don't know, here, slide, there, okay, again, It's just a grab. Do your thumb. One more time. Slow. Boom. Here. Slap, slap it down. Capture it. Okay. And then you can, you can also probably pinch his fingers too. But here, once you just have your thumb over, I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to actually slap up as I sink. See? Now I can just go into a railroad. And this is an emphasis. This right here, that pivot. It's so again, it's like a, it's like a uppercut. So, flip it, flip it a little tighter. See, so that's that's why. Mm -hmm. Something's only on the stick. I just like, you know, uh, when I, when I was going to my disarm, I was kind of looking at like you know how do I address that left hand? How do I address something from the side? So when that punch comes, like inside grip change. So I hit right here. <coughs> so I move my head, boom, I hit your ball. Okay? So again. So I stop right here, hit the clip, punch comes, bang, I hit right here. So I'm not worried about that right now because he's probably he hit and got the block, the punch comes. Boom. And from here I just reach back and the uppercut. Okay? I could, I could go here, but I'm hitting my I'm hitting my own hand with the stick, so I can just come out with a puño. I could do the puño if I wanted to, if I want to remain contacted with this. But it's a, it's a fast hit. Let's go ahead and uh, so, so the punch comes. So let's say I'm um, here, right? And then the punch comes. It's that. You see that? It's kind of that concept. So I'm here. I block punch comes. I it's like reaching out here again. Here. So with the stick, I just mimic that. So feet to six, block that punch comes, pop. Okay, hit. This is more of a distraction. It's so really what I want to do is I want to come back up here with the uppercut. Now I've got the inside line. All I'm going to do is come under. Okay, I can hit him all the way. I don't have to, I can just stand here and just twist. Or I can literally, I can literally go all the way under and then do a throw from there. Okay, just, just sink my elbow into. Take him down, okay? So, I go six, touch comes, pop, hit. If he retracts that, I don't care, I'm just coming in and hit him and hit him and hit him, hit him, right? Boom, so I have this, I'm gonna hit him, I'm gonna come underneath, okay? Look, there's all these other options too. All the way down, okay? Underneath here, bang. And just sit, sit hard, take him down, okay? Wanna try that? It's like reaching somebody. Yeah. I pulled it off during the fight. It works. Fuck, it works. So the guy, the guy and I were fighting, right? So I threw a right hand. Wow, I went bang. And it did on me. Whoa. Crap. It just, like, it just shot him. He was like, boom. And it just, it just said, boom. It was the funniest thing ever. That shit works. That is hilarious. Yeah, and that was, that was like a glove. Imagine if I did what I actually should be doing. 
that one of the tiger claw punch type thing. So six it, punch comes, bang. See, move your head, guys. Don't, don't depend on the fact that you can do that with your hands. It's always this. That's one thing I picked up the Blinds Walk head movement. That's group five, level five. Not level five, grouping system five. Punches with head movement. So if I sick somebody, it says boom. That's that. It's a clearing line. And then you're supposed to go bang. And it's that fast. Once we connect, we know we're going to group five when we feel this. See? And then you move your head up here. Boom. Then you go back. And then you check. Get a punch. See? That's group five. We punch high, we punch low, which is a thrust. Anybody in my school who I train, I don't teach them to punch. Thrust. And that's, I think it's my later. I think knife. So I tend to keep knife mentality. Punch. So here, right? So we did the first one. We're here, here, right? Now this one here is punch, boom. Up and eco, right there. See? So this is the attachment. Once I have the abanico, I snake in and I go for the low grab. Okay? Because the snake, the snake is incidental, I'm going for his throat. So think of just going underneath one for his throat. So six, and three off of the two, huh? Oh, no, I like it. <laughs> hey. So here, abanico, right? As I'm coming in, I also suck this in because if, he, if it's there, it's attached, then I go for the throat grab, which this arm is so stick. Okay, and I just squeeze, squeeze that throat, just bah, bah, bah. Okay, so it's dirty, which is how it should be, right? Empty hand should be like this, right? So off the clip, that punch comes again, it's an inside deep two. So when I hit him here, it's the same time, it's not parry hit. Not like the 12, 12, punch, punch, one, two. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was really meant for that anyway, and sometimes it's a whole clear line. Okay, it's not gonna really, like, just, just a little reference point. Six. Inside the knee, move your head, punch, knee, sweep the back of your head, do a little swim it in and under, grab and clamp. Okay? Cool, do that. That's four. This is roll, if it's roll, you roll back. It's just this energy, right? I'm just I'm just clearing out which way like that. So what I do is this is spotted daga. I like to think spotted daga, so that's why I do this. I burst like punch. Uh, a lot of guys, a lot of little guys will do this. They'll leave their hand up. And then you slap the hand. Yeah, they do that. It's a training tool. I, I train myself how I want to do it. I want to stab it, right? So here, lock, roll back. As it's coming, I catch it right about 12 o'clock. Don't let it go past to 9 o'clock. So, so this is very compensated. Hold it. And I just do this. Straight. Yeah, this was a lighter point. Then I have this. Bang! I'm just throwing a stick and hit him. Okay. Go to the other side. Okay. Roll. He rolls back. 12 o'clock right there. Strip. Okay. Hold it. Bang. Got it? Nice spot on the mark. So I'm here, I step in, I show that, that's not what I want to go for the wrist. Because he's covering his face now. I go for the wrist, I use my puño, grab the elbow, just pull. And I'm going to push. Okay, one more time. Here's this. The first one is just that block. Good, go back. Good, block. Good, go back. You'd be surprised how this causes flinches, right? Go here, boom, keep grab. Right. Now that. Okay. So I just, I just hold. I don't try to. I mean, for me, this is this is a lock in itself. You know. I just roll it up. I just, I just put my hand on the back. Okay. I just roll out of me, whatever I want to do. Okay. Bends it whatever you want me to. Cross step. Okay. So as you're coming around, you transition to the wrist. See. Grab that, grab the, the elbow, pull, which goes force the Kimura position. Okay, one more time. And he sits. He sees this, he's covering his head. I just transition here to the wrist. Okay. If he, he means my punyo, I just go to this snake again. I mean, he, he, changed, he changed my energy, right? But what I really wanted was go to the wrist, elbow. 
Okay? And then I pull, because I don't want to force it. I want it to work for me. I don't want to just use one hand to get that elbow bent. I pull and I'm pulling. Okay? Same thing. Right? And so so punch. Right here. Pull and pull. Grab it. Same thing. With a stand with you. Punch. That's what I like to track in. I come around, this is the PTK. I, I grab the elbow. We don't, we don't do, but PTK never does this. They don't do that. Fold your elbow, fold your elbow, fold your elbow. They don't do that. So punch, grab the elbow. Then what I do is I come in, I hide the blade under the, the arm. And I don't really care about that. Just take it down here. Do you for traffic with that? Yes. Yeah, always. Always. I do the PTK guys all the time. How you doing? Okay, got it? Got it. Use that abanico. Yeah. For the tape, for the call it. So I had that. So it's the same concept when we did the punch, right? Something good in the thrust or off. Punch. Remember this one? Punch, 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 punch. That one right here? Yeah. That one? It's the same abanico. Alright? So. I want to punch you like Dr. Does this. He actually punches through. Here's that touch. Okay? Do not lose contact with that. And here's that little tape to just basically get into the thing about. Here's your uppercut. Boom. Break and uppercut together. Okay? So add that in, break your uppercut. And you can just kind of come down and you're just straight. Got it? So, this is six. Punch through. And then, uppercut, straight. And see that when you just add a little bit of a safety assurance. So when I stripped, so one more one right here, and I hit the uppercut. As I'm coming back, I just pulled, but I just kept the punyu there just, just for added assurance. I could do it without it, it'll still come off, but it just stops it. Adding a punyo, adding anything just a little bit, just gives gives less movement for you. Okay? So if I pull through and, and just kind of that when I said pull up rather than just stripping. I want that strip to happen because it stops movement and then I can come right back in. So it's just the little nuances make a big difference. Six, one, two, hit, uppercut. Put the foot trap in there if you want. Then it's a strip. Boom! Finish it. Okay? Add it, add it on. Okay? Add the footwork in. And I just hit. It's, it's literally that simple. So the floating step, the Kali Sushma floating step, that's where that comes in. This whole thing is that. You're going to do long? No, just. just Cool. This pass cut is that here, that, and that stuff. I'll, I'll show it because it's, it's cool at the name, but I don't, I don't use it. You know, PTK calls bisecting line, but actually bisecting line to, to cut across. Okay? So, what I like to do is take it to reverse grip, hit, okay? Check, and then come in. It's a simple move, but if you want, sometimes you wear your fancy mask. A little bit less of a aluminum, but more like this rounded tip, and just literally pop, just see how fast you can hit that. It's pretty cool. Or you back fist it if you have a, a pad and post it right there. So this would be literally a slap, slap, pop. Okay, so with the blue the blade, it's one, two, three right here. Okay, because when the stack comes, I hit, I check, and I come into a pull. Okay. Usually there's an attachment, if, there's, if it goes back, that's fine, because if it goes again, it's going to come down. See? And then I just kind of just carry it, screw that in. Okay, but the first move is one, two, three. If there's a barrier, remove it. Come back in the middle. Okay? So try that. One, two, three, touch, remove, go again. Okay, try it. First one, it's just one, two, three. Remove the barrier. Four. One, hollow out. Okay, check it. Reload the chamber. Three. Push becomes a little bit more energy. Wipe it. One, one's up there. Okay. Next option. One, two, three. As he pushes, he pulls. Because people tend to do this. I do it all the time. I retract. 
So you know it's coming again. Carry it, pick it up. Either lift elbow, slash thrust, keeping that attachment right here, because if it comes back to my neck, I pick it up. He's a break again. Okay, four. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can go from here. See? Here's that. Here's that. There's a trap right there if you notice that. I don't bring it to his face. I could, but I'm just, I want him to focus on this. Because if it's going to his face, he'll fight it. Yeah, he'll see it. Yeah, I don't want I, this, I want him to get distracted. See there, now it's mine. See what I did there? There's a difference. There's a big difference. Michael! Or Michael! Thank you. <laughs> Got you. Yeah, or Michael. See? Remember the whole gun thing? It's the same wrist situation. Right? Right here? Press? Yeah. So I'm just going here and put it across. This is where you get some. It's gone. Slash. Broke. Do it at all. Or just position control. Okay. Different options, guys. Play on okay. thrust. Yeah, we're yeah, live. Right, thrust or whatever, so I'm going to jam here. Yeah. Okay, get the bicep. That's just a wall. I don't guys don't overthink it. Don't be like, oh, I'm a bastard. Then go around. It's just, just jam. Because there's end to end application that there's this. Right, there's that. There's this. Sinking in. So what I'm doing is I'm just using this as a wall. Right here, okay? Now, after I block, I can pass cut and go here. This is no different from Dante says what must fold must unfold. Here, clap. It's no different when Dante does that, right? So from here, I jam in, okay? I can come up. Once I pass cut, okay? I can either use my knife and grab the back of the neck or use my elbow to open them up. Once I use my elbow, then I got that one. See, so it's just like a bat. Boom. Oh. So keeping it simple. Okay, right here. High line, slash. Because if that hook comes, right, I have that. I have, I have it covered. Okay. So here, one, right here. Now when I track up, this is where I sink this in a pull. Okay. I'm gonna suck that in. Now I have it. Okay. So that hand, I can open it again, and scoop through, and I finish, okay? So high line, boom, okay? Cut through, or jam, cut through, and then show that, and then pull it. See, but you have to, you have to, you have to pull that arm in. You have to, if you just pretend that you're just gonna go and just scoop up, you can find the same So what you, you notice I'm actually folding it in, um, folding it in there, you know, see? It's like I'm doing a big bumper cut from the back all the way to the front. So it's boom, pop, right here. And I know that hand's free, so I gotta keep it busy. I can pinch it or scoop it out. Here's that. Here's that. And then put it all up there. Okay? Simple entry. Bang! Empty hand line, and look at this. Boom! Open up. Suck it in, slap, scoop, same thing, right? Yeah, awesome, good. good.